Six measles cases have been confirmed in El Paso. The El Paso Independent School District is now revising its enrollment policy, requiring all students to be fully vaccinated by the start of the school year. What we are doing is following the protocol set out by the county and, uh, uh, and, and the city's health department. What we're recommending is that all kids by um, going back to school, you know, starting at four years, uh, should have both uh, vaccines. We need to remind our community in general that the vaccines, in this case, MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, um, are the gold standard or is the gold standard in order to prevent measles. The usual policy that allows students to enroll with only the first dose of the vaccine will be dropped, and all students must be fully vaccinated before the start of the school year. So normally what we do is we have a, a, a provision that would allow students to enroll and give them some sort of leeway and when to turn in their the paperwork uh, indicating that they've met the state requirements for immunization. Uh, we are now saying that they have to have meet all the requirements for immunizations by the time they enroll. The Department of Public Health recommends extra precaution for children not yet old enough to receive the MMR vaccine. How can they protect um, people that can't get the MMR yet? Wash your hands, make sure people who are coming into contact with them um, are immunized and washing their hands too. And don't be going anywhere where you suspect that there could be an outbreak. This is Vanessa Garcia reporting for Journalism in July at Border Scene.